Welcome back people, we got another new video for you guys here again today, some more Fishing Planet and today we're going to show you, look at this, so this is the DLC rod setup, the way I set it up it works very well, a level, uh, line weight is 159 and then our reel that we have there is a 159 on the drag, so let's remove that <coughs> and then we're going to show you real quick, so this is the um, DLC rod here that we was using 159 pound I also brought this which was a level 82 rod setup worked pretty well for the ocean map so recommend it if you ain't got the DLC rod here we're gonna purchase this one 194 pound line weight so that one is actually stronger than the DLC rod that we had so that's a casting rod by the way we do, we've done a video already on the bottom casting rod which is your bait rod this one here is for your trolling and then this one here you can use for your trolling as well we're, do, we're doing this one at the minute casting rod we'll make another video soon on spinning rods so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that one and then let's go to casting rails and then we want so it's 196, so we, we could probably use that one, you know. That one's 192, 198. Uh, I don't know if that one or that one. I'm going to buy them both. So I'm going to first try off. So, okay, we've already got... Why have we got that one? Oh, one of them is obviously the DLC. Well, one of the DLC one will sell for bait coins. Okay, that one's the bait coin. Okay, so this one here is 192. That's the one that we bought that isn't. So that one, if we sell that one, that one will sell for cash because we bought it for cash. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to try put on the 198 pound and we see how it goes. If it doesn't work well, and then we also have the 192 with us as a backup. We're going to see how how this is going to work <clears throat> so uh, we also have the, for the line I have stronger line 212 pound so again it is a lot stronger but um, I'm going to put it on anyway take that down we don't need that amount of line on there about 1000 is normally enough but I'm just going to go a little bit over there you go that'll do Okay, and then if we scroll down, I'm going to put on my trolling octopus and my squid chain as well. This is how I'm going to use the rod setup, and there we go. This is how I'm going to use the rod setup. Now, there is new lures that we unlocked as well for level 90. Uh, I don't know, I mean, we could try them, but. I don't think I'm going to try and throw out this video because I know what works so I'm using what works for the moment but look at that we've got this one here unlocked you know what actually that one says for mahi tuna small marlin and mahi we will buy one anyway and then we unlocked the red one here as well this one says for tuna marlin as well we get one of those um, squid chain new ones unlocked let's buy one of those one of them as well and this one there we go alright so I'm going to use what normally works for me let's travel into the ocean map and let's catch a fish let's catch a fish hopefully oh look at that picture it looks beautiful hopefully this should be a bit better now in the terms of reeling in because from a 159 pound rod setup to 194 pounds that's a big difference so I'm hoping we can reel our fish in that little bit easier if this reel doesn't work and then we will put on the 192 pound reel I think we might have to do that but we'll see how it works as long as I can do one bar away from the top, I'm happy to use that reel. 
if not we'll put the other real one and that's why I'm showing you this video so that way you guys don't waste your money and let you know if it's any good I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be good I'm sure it is right let's move over then into our good old trolling spot now there's plenty of other trolling spots as well we've shown lots of hot spots check out our playlist of just fishing planet nearly a thousand videos in there of everything you guys need to know missions hot spots how and where to catch fish make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those updates there's enough of that clickbait stuff subscribe like and share there you go <laughs> there's enough right let's get into this let's get a fish on shall we so i'm going to jump forward days i don't care about wasting bait coins because that's what we spend our real money on all the time uh, jump forward mm, forward i like to fish on the sunny day for the tuna and marlin i, I feel like that seems to work best Okay, jump for day four, day five should be the one. It still ain't caught well. It's a good job I'm only showing you as a demonstration. Sunny day. Poof, that took a long time. All right, well we got there eventually. <laughs> day six. All right, let's cast this bad boy out. I don't think you need two of these rods, if I'm honest. You do catch fish so quick that you won't even need to... I doubt you'd even be able to pick up two rods at the same time, if I'm honest. I don't think you'd be able to. This hot spot is an absolutely great spot to fish in. So, let's get trolling. So, we don't need a monster of a fish on here, but we need something that's half decent. I say around about 130 pound plus so that way it gives us a good idea of how well it works so as what I do is I get the boat up to speed and I set up to speed at least five knots once it gets to at least five knots I drop the boat down to one percent and then when I drop the boat down to one percent the boat will always stay at five knots five knots for trolling seems to work very well so I, I was trolling before around about six seven knots but I've slowed it down a little bit just so that way we can get that little bit further now the boat has gone down to four knots there because I'm steering left and right a little bit just making sure we're going on the right lines and then we drop down to here I'm gonna move this rod over into the other one here I normally cast around about 40 to 50 ish foot out and then once I do that, I then put it into the rod stand, like that. There we go. Loads of fish coming up there. We're on the right trails. <laughs> Sometimes you get those rough days where it takes a little bit longer to catch a fish than others. And it looks like we're having one of those, which is typical normally. When I come onto this trolling spot, we're catching instant, so quick, back to back. And it starts off like that. Or it starts off like this, where you're trolling for a, a minute or so before you hook something up. But we will. I'm not going to make any edits into this video. Everything you see is in real time. So that way you can see how well the rod works even if it takes us 10 minutes to catch a fish you can still see how how well it works so there's our first marker we're coming up to our other markers slowly so many fish man but none of them are interested yet see normally I use that bright yellow mono line I'm not using that this time but this line should still be fine there we go that come off don't ever be in a hurry to slow the boat down too quick 
I did there. So when you're trolling at five knots, the second you get a fish on like now, you leave it for a little bit, drop the boat to zero percent, and then go down, pick your rod up, and away you go. Okay, so let's take the drag up. Let's see how much we can take it up. I'm gonna take one. Okay, that's perfect. So I can use this reel. I think I saw the bars go up on the rod there quite a lot. I need to make sure. I need it to fight more. Come on. This is reeling in very easy. Oh, wow. I don't know if I can get away with that. A hundred pound fish. That reeled in so, so easy. I definitely noticed the difference. I'm going to take it down to two bars for a minute. I'm going to leave two bars away from the top. Because I'm not sure we need a bigger fish. I'm not sure if that's going to damage the rod. There you go, 1% on the engine. So that way we're still moving. Fish on and 0%. No. Back up. It come off. Speed up again. 5 knots. Drop it down to 1 or 2. So we get to five knots. There's another spot. I need a bigger fish. I need to find out if it's going to put damage on the rod. If it does, then we're put on the 192 reel. I know if I use the 192 pound reel, we'll definitely be able to balance it. But because this reel was stronger, I uh, don't know. It should be alright. The rod's 19. What was the rod? One nine six. Mm. It could take damage. It could. It could take damage. It's got to be. Technically, the reel's got to be a little bit weaker than your rod, and this reel is a little bit stronger than this rod, so that could put damage on it. We'll find out when we get another fish on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There's another spot. This is a really rough day, man. We normally catch a lot, lot quicker than this. The game just wants me to jump forward days, doesn't it? Okay, so for this little bit, I don't have any markers on this bit because I haven't caught many fish here. So I'm just going to speed up the boat. The fastest the boat can go is at 12, uh, 12 percent which is seven knots sometimes it gets to eight there we go seven knots is too fast it makes the lure jump out of the water bounces back so me get it me getting it at two percent on the on the boat right now uh, drop it down to five knots one or two percent take you to five knots there we go five knots Oh, this is a really rough day fishing this one I'm going to have to jump forward a day because it's taken too long for you guys you don't want to watch a video for, for hours and hours do you let's try midday 
nothing showing up. On a sunny day. The next day, I need early morning. You guys don't have to do what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video, just to try to speed it up. So that way you guys ain't watching this video for too long. Now we've got another early morning peak, loads of fish around. Let's see if we can try and hook something. We're in the spot at the minute for the, for the mahi, so we're probably not in the best places. Let's get a bit of speed. them birds we're going to keep following the trolling lines that we've got these trolling lines here if I zoom out then I zoom back in and we just follow these markers all the way up on these lines there you go it took long enough but we got there okay can I take it up one more this fish isn't big enough Let's skip a jack tuna <laughs> oh this is typical right now isn't it it's just because I'd, I said I weren't going to make no edits into the video that's why it's taken longer if I said oh, I'll bring you guys back in a sec but I said that I would have caught it instantly. At least you see how easy though. For certain fish that are really in. That is so much. I can definitely notice the difference. Between the DLC casting rod. And the in-game cash casting rod. Big difference. I definitely can reel fish in easier with that. That hundred pound fish that we reeled in was so easy. It, not even to the point where it even took the bars up on the side of the rod. That's how good that rod is. I would say the biggest improvement between the, the bait rod, the two bait rods, between the level 90 bait rod and the DLC bait rod, I don't know it's much of a difference at all, or even a difference if I'm honest. But the DLC rod as the casting rod compared to the level 90 casting rod I definitely see the difference this one definitely definitely is a lot stronger there we go this is a good fish it's making the water move All right, let's see if I take it up one oh I think I think I'll get away with it you know Yeah, I do. I get away with it. So that works, that reel. Although you could use the level 92 as well. That would work. This one works as well. 120 pound fish. Reeled in easy. Very easy. Alright, we'll have one more. See if we can try to get a little bit bigger. we get one a little bit bigger then we can really notice the difference I mean I noticed the difference already just just like that there you go oh no it's off I, I did go to that a little bit too quick yeah I definitely noticed the difference on the other rod to bring in a hundred pound fish well that hundred and twenty pound fish there that that would have took a lot longer than than what that just did there there's a massive difference we get to about 24 25 minutes unless we manage to get a decent fish on before that which this one could be the one yep there we go this one's good yeah look at that max 
that's maxed out and it doesn't put any damage it doesn't break it and as long as it doesn't break it off that's the main thing I'll tell you what though it's so much easier to reel fish in this is a perfect rod look how easy that is how big is that one? 105 <laughs> that did not feel like a 105 pound fish come on one big fish to finish off at least 140 140 pound fish would do it perfect Hundred and forty or above we need. <laughs> or if not even a marlin's good. A marlin will put up a great fight, but we're kind of a little bit out of the spot for marlin now. We're going more towards the Pacific bluefin tuna this way. At the beginning of the trail was normally marlin. I definitely think it's going to be easier to reel the marlin in. Definitely going to be easier to reel them in. They normally take a short minute to reel in as well. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this rod? Are you going to purchase it yourself when you're a high enough level? Or if you're already a high enough level? If you're thinking about getting this rod and you like trolling, I highly recommend it. This is definitely a very good decent setup the way I've got it there we go notice the bit of movement there this is our last fish now no matter how big this fish is this is our last one sorry the video went on for so long but it is what it is I wanted to show you this rod in action look at that maxed out that's perfect yeah that's good good balance normally I have the reel a little bit weaker but it being a bit stronger seems like it's fine this one's a bit of a bigger fish I think putting up a bit more of a fight oh yeah this one's definitely putting up a bit more Oh, we're going to lose it. Oh, wow, that was so close. A bit of FPS drop there as well. We'd love to see that. Thank you, Fishing Planet. <laughs> oh, I think there's a big eye tuna, I think. I think. Cool. Look at that run there. Wow, that's a, that's that's a, yeah. I can't even stop it. Now I'm interested to see how big this fish is now, because this one is actually starting to put up a decent fight now. All of them were very easy to reel win. This one isn't as easy as the other ones. This one's actually standing a fight. Look. Oh. Wow. Just ripped me out 170 foot. I wouldn't have thought I wouldn't have thought that would have done that to be honest, knowing that it's a lot of a stronger a lot lot stronger of a rod, but could be because we got a good fish on. Could be. The best big eye tuna is it's probably a uni. If not could be the Pacific Bluefin Tuna. I'm sure it looked like the Big Eye Tuna though. Let's see. It's trying to run. Car oh, really fighting me there. Come on.
fit. Seven, eight. Come on. Come on. Are you going to give us a uni to finish off on? I'll tell you what, this one is putting up a good fight, I tell you. This is the best one we've had on this rod so far. I'm definitely interested to find out the weight of this. I mean, we haven't had it on for an extremely long time, but it's definitely been longer than the other ones, and it's trying to run again. Come on. Oh, wow. Well. I thought I lost it there. That slack. Big eye. Okay, it's not quite unique, but still, a 229 pound fish and we reeled it in that quick. That's definitely a lot quicker compared to the other rod. That would have took us an extremely long time. Now let's show you that rod set up one more time. And there it is. There's that rod set up. I hope this video helped you guys out. Keep an eye out for more updates on Fishing Planet Hot Spots. How and where to catch certain fish, tips and tricks for XP and cash. And new updates, new updates, new updates. <laughs> Leave your comments below. Are you going to purchase this rod? I highly recommend it. It's a very good rod. We we'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out. Peace. I don't know why I'd do that.